Or the number of his name. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. The name of the beast. This is the United States of America. The number right. of his name is destruction. Right, That's right. Death and hell. That's what it's talking about right, right there. It's prophesied has to come to pass. The beast is going to control everything. The beast is going to control the currency completely to the point where if you're not in agreement with the beast, they're going to cut off your health care. They're going to cut off your finances as well. As long as you're in opposition, it ain't no damn microchip. Jump into the topic of the day, man. That's, that's right. right. We're about to drop, jump into the topic of the day. IT, y'all ready? Day. All right, drop that. Topic of the day. Topic of the day. How to escape the mark of the beast. How to escape the mark of the beast. That's right. Hey, the only way to escape it, you got to know what that thing is. That's right. right. If you think it's a micro trip, you ain't going to escape it. You right. right. I'm let you know that right now. Bring it up. Give, me, give me the book of uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 18. We're going to jump right into it, y'all. Go jump right into it. Ecclesiastes today. chapter 3, verse 18. The All right, book, let's get it. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 18. Come on. I said in my heart concerning the estates of men. The estates of who? The estate of the sons of men. The estate of the sons of men. So what is this talking about? This is talking about man. That's right. This is talking about man. Go ahead. That God might manifest them. Uh-huh. And that they might see that they themselves are beasts. That they are what? Beast. So this is showing you what? God references man, mankind, or nations mm -hmm. by what? The word beast. That's That's right. Right. First and foremost, make it very simple to be understood. Give me Revelations, the 13th chapter. And Bring I want verse 11. All right, watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 11. Go ahead. And I beheld another beast. Another what? Beast. So this is another man, another nation. Right. This beast right here just so happens to be the United States of America. Right. Read it yeah. again. And I beheld another beast. Come on. Coming up out of the earth. Coming up out of the earth. This is another kingdom, another empire that's going to rise up out of the earth to prominence. That's what wow. the, that's what uh, John is seeing in the vision. Go ahead. And he had two horns. He like had two lamb. horns. Uh, that represent what? The different political parties in right. the United States of America. Right. You have the Democratic Party Message. and you have the Republican Party. Oh. You have the far right and the left. All right, read. And he spake as a dragon. Nope. It says, and he had two horns like a lamb. What is a lamb? What's the, some characteristics of a lamb? Very gentle. gentle. Right. All right. Looks, it looks harmless. Right. Okay. And, and, and how, does, uh, how did America, you know what? I got something for you. Right. How right. did America pose themselves when they first came on the scene? Put the came on the uh, officers. Let them talk about how America came on the scene at the at the first. One nation under God, acting right. like they was led by God, even though it was based in slavery. Right. Right. All right. men are equal in their constitution, though they had slaves that they was writing it. The hell is this? Right, they came with what? They mouth smooth like butter. Right. Like yeah, in loving arms, open with their arms all out open, loving, but. Guess what was in their heart? War. That's right. War. They show themselves friendly, but in the, in um in they back of their mind, hey, I'm gonna kill you. Right. Hey, thank, you. Damn. thank you. Damn. Thank you, Indians, for showing us how to um plow the land, but we're gonna kill you and take your land. Right. Damn. So hey, uh, I tell you, I just put in a a, a, a quick video about Bring the United out. States of America. All right, you got that for us? Okay. All right, load it up. Load it up. So yeah, read that verse again for me, all the way from the top, verse eleven. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 11. Go ahead. And I beheld another beast 
coming up out of the earth. Mm -hmm. And he had two horns like a lamb. Right, started as a so-called Christian nation. Right. Obviously, they're not the real Christians. Only the Jews, the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the true Christians. That's, That's right. right. Understand that. Bring it hey, up. do That's me a favor, right. play that video real quick. Watch this. Stop. Read that. 2023, 63% Christian. Take down the disclaimer. All right, so it says 2023, 63% of America is cr are Christians today. Wow. All right, that's actually that's not a high percentage right no. there. All right, continue to play. Go ahead. 2000. Hey, take off the music because they might flag us. Uh, run that back a little bit. It said 20, 2023, play, freeze. Read that. 2000, 80% Christian. So it's showing you what? It's decreasing. Right. It is decreasing. Okay. Decreasing. Their uh their posture as a lamb, being all gentle. No, no, that's falling mm -hmm. off. It's starting to reveal who they really yes. are. Right. All right, go back. Bring it up. 1970, 85% Christian. Come on, IT. Follow us, man. Stick with us, bro. Come on. Go back. Read that. 1970, 85% Christian. Right, 1970, 85% Christian. So the further you go back, the more gentle they were, right. the more. Christian they were, supposedly. We right. know that they ain't, mm -hmm. they, they ain't right. gentle. Right. All right, go ahead. 1950, 90% Christian. 1950, 90% wow. of the country Damn. was Christians. Damn. Go ahead. 1940, 95% Christian. Mm -hmm. 1900, 99% Christian. So in the 1900, 99% of America with Christians, that's basically 100%. Right. All right, so now let's go back to Revelations uh, 13 and 11. Watch this, y'all. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. Go ahead. And he had two horns like a lamb. Uh-huh. And he spake as a dragon. But he spake as a what? Dragon. As Satan on earth. That's right. right. How's he done that? By killing the children of Israel. That's right. right. By putting us in slavery, by rape, rob, and murder, still gunning us down in the streets, still poisoning our food, right. poisoning our air supply. Bring it up. The okay, that's this. how he speaks as a dragon, right. by passing these mandates and these different decrees that attack the children of Israel. That's right. right. All right, now do me a favor for the sake of time, jump down to verse 15. Watch this. We're verse still dealing with the beast. Okay, go ahead. Verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. He had power to give life unto that image of the beast. Who's that image of the beast? We know Caesar, Caesar Bosch, Christianity. Go ahead. That the image of the beast should both speak. Come on. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Should be killed. How do they cause the beast to speak? Through their media. Every okay. Day. Through their media. Every through their television. Day. Okay. Through the newspapers. Through the movies. That's how they cause... Uh, the, the beast to speak, not just here in America, but throughout all of the world. Right. You go down to Brazil. Uh, we got a call? Yeah, pick up the call, put them on hold. You go down to Brazil. You go to Africa. Everywhere you go in Africa, you got Cesar Bogier on the buses. Wow. You got billboards of Cesar Bogier. You got Cesar Bogier on the bottled water. That's wow. Right. Everywhere Dang. pushing Dang. that image. Wow. That's how they cause Jeez. them to speak. You don't all right, we'll take a quick suspicious. call. Hey, Shalom, call what's your question or your comment? Shalom, mighty Captain Mattathias. Oh, leadership. man. Who's this? <laughs> uh, this? This is Zedekiah. <laughs> Zed, where you calling from, Zedekiah? Zedekiah. Uh, yeah, I'm calling from, I'm supposed to be attending Memphis camp. I'm calling from Jonesboro, though. Okay, all praise, man. Thank you for calling in. What's your question or your comment, bro? Yes, sir, man. Uh, how how, how y'all was going into, like, uh, it seemed like how, man, I'm kind of, like how he, uh, the he what did it say he like a dragon but he 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 seemed like a lamb right right, right right two right. horns mm -hmm. like man it's 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 crazy because like with these jews and like the white man it, it seemed like it's always like they the things they say it's like oh bro it's, it's hard to explain it's like okay they complain about the holocaust yet king leopold killed more Right, more right, people right, right. Than mm -hmm. the Holocaust. Damn. It seemed like everything. It seemed like it seemed like everything with them. It's like purely. It, it seemed like it's emotion. Like we can go back and trace the facts. Like okay, we went through four hundred years of slavery. Y'all went through four years of the Holocaust, supposedly, and six million of y'all died. Okay, King Leopold killed eight million in the Congo. Yet that's not talked about. It seemed like Damn. these people are just. 
insanely emotional, man. It's 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 it's, it's crazy. Well, they they it's are like they nothing. brute beast, bro. You gotta right. understand. Right. You gotta understand Put when they say his heart is not upright in him. That's right. exactly what it means. Exactly. Remember what it say in Deuteronomy right. twenty eight. He shall not regard the old nor the young. Right. So when it comes to our lives. They don't account it for anything. Right. All, right, all they care about is their agenda and their people. And up. remember, their agenda is to annihilate all of us. Right. Right. So don't forget for one second. They see what's going on, but they don't give a damn. They don't uh, care. No. All right. Hey, but they, hey, thank you for calling in. I appreciate your input. Hey, real quick, go back to verse 15. Read that. Revelation 13, 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Go ahead. That the image of the beast should both speak. And cause that as many as would would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. That would not worship the image of the beast. What's that going into? That's going into their religion. Right. That's going into democracy. That's in uh with democracy. That's going into what? Uh, white supremacy. Right. That's going into uh, be, uh what's it called? Um feminism. Mm -hmm. LGBTQ. Bring all of that. So if you don't worship the beast, they cause you what? To be killed. To be killed. Real quick, pull up the first article, please. Pull up the first article with DeSantis. Mm. DeSantis is always in the mix in the oh, media, bro. Always he, doing something. Yeah. Always doing something, man. Read that. Breaking. Governor DeSantis signs extreme license to discriminate health care bill. It says he dis he signs extreme license to discriminate health care bill. Do me a favor, IT. Wow. Get to the point. Get to the point in the article. We went over this earlier. <clears throat> Read that. Today, the human rights campaign, the nation's largest lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, transgender, and queer civil rights organization, condemns Governor DeSantis for signing SB 1580, a license to discriminate in health care bills. Stop. This is a guys. They're pulling the, they're pulling the hood <laughs> over our people. Right. They're trying to act like, for example, before we get into, you know what? I'm, I'm going to jump the gun a little bit so you can Bring understand what's going on. DeSantis signed a bill. Giving doctors liberty to discriminate health care based on their patient's belief. Yeah. Right. What now the they're pushing hell? it in the guise as if that's supposed to discriminate against the LGBTQ. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. That's not what it's talking about. Mm -hmm. right. They're trying to do that to deny the hidden ones, the Israelites. That's right. You black Hispanics and Native Americans, they're doing that to deny you health care. Right. 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 Okay? Right. All they keep putting in, in the media is the transgender. Oh, DeSantis don't like them and... All of these uh, Republicans, they don't like the transgender. It has nothing to do with that. Uh, no. Understand, that's just a guise to put, uh, put these different uh, mandates and these decrees in place against us. Go back to the article, then I want you to play the news clip. Come on. License to discriminate a health care bill that would allow health care providers and insurers to deny a patient care on the basis of religious, Moral and ethical beliefs. Right. So, they, but they put LGBTQ, LGBT. Mm -hmm. No, that's talking about us, right? That's there. right. Play the news clip, please. Play that. Play that. Play that. Pull it up. <clears throat> yep. Today, Ron DeSantis signed four pieces of legislation into law that he says will protect Floridians from medical mandates like masks and vaccines we had during the pandemic. Uh, these restrictions. Is this the timestamp we wanted, it? The purpose of them was not to safeguard your health. Go ahead. The purpose of them was to control your behavior. The governor also says the new laws will empower doctors. Critics, however, say the new laws will deny medical treatments for some people. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean is in Tallahassee with the story. People who support this bill say it's all about medical providers' First Amendment rights. But Democrats say that's exactly what the problem is here. This gives doctors the ability to discriminate against certain patients. The governor Thursday writing a prescription he calls freedom. All in all, uh, we set out to prescribe freedom in Florida. The medical conscience law gives health care providers and insurers new rights, including the ability to opt out of participation or payment for certain health care services on the basis of personal objections. And we want our physicians practicing evidence-based medicine. Uh, we don't want it to just defer to authority or to just follow the herd. Republicans backed the bill this session, saying it's common sense. It's a very simple thing. The bill says that if I'm a physician, 
and I have a conscious-based objection, I have a moral objection to something, I should be able to say no. The policy has been Stop. met with fierce... Mm. So they're very crafty with their words, just like it says in Psalms. Right. But war was... it? Give me that real quick, but right. war's in their heart. Bring it out. Remember, <laughs> their, their end game is to destroy us. Right. And right. that's who this man is. That's who this beast is. Right. Okay? Watch this, y'all. You know what I want, Psalms 55? Yes, sir. Okay. Bring it out. The book of Psalms. Chapter 55 and verse 20. Go ahead. He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Come on. He had broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Right. The words of his mouth smoother than butter. Go ahead. But war was in his heart. But war was in his heart. Yes. War was in his heart. Right. Who is this? We're, we're showing you who the beast is and what his wow. mark is. Go back to Revelation chapter 13, 15. We're going to read down a little bit. Watch this, y'all. The book of Revelation, <clears throat> chapter 13 and verse 15. Go ahead. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. He had power to give life to the image of the beast. Go ahead. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Let's just say brother got shot. Mm -hmm. Brother, brother, uh, stage three cancer. They could say, right. I don't like what you stand for. Right. Dang. You understand? Mm -hmm. I don't like what you stand for. You could have a common cold. But if you don't cure that common cold, what is it going to turn into? It could turn into something deadly. But guess what? I don't want to prescribe you anything because I don't agree with what you believe in. Yep. Right. It says cause him to be killed. Okay? Remember, war was in his heart. This is warfare. Right. There's biological warfare with COVID. Right. There's different. This is what they're about. They're about war, destruction, and killing the people of God. Yep. Read verse 16. Watch this, y'all. And he calls of all, both small and great, mm -hmm. rich and poor. Free and bond Come on. to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And right, it says in the mark hand, right hand or in their foreheads. All praise to the Most High. Bishop Nathaniel dropped the gem on us. Right. A revelation is past yeah. Sabbath. That's right. Get him. right. Bring it out. Nope. I tell you, man, it's, give me that. Revelation on, 17, 4. Up. We're talking about that, nope. his hand and his forehead. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 17 and verse 4. Come on. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. And decked with gold and precious stones uh -huh. and, and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand. Having a what? Golden cup in her hand. In her hand, go ahead. Full of abominations. Full of abominations, go ahead. And filthiness of her fornication. Abomination is something that's hateful to God. Right. All right, verse 5. You know? And upon her forehead. And upon her what? Forehead. Her forehead, go ahead. Was a name written, mystery. Babylon the Great. Right. They can nobody sees right. what America's doing. Bring it right. out. Go ahead. The mother of harlots. Come on. And abominations of the earth. Now go back to Revelations 13, 16. Come on. You know. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Right. He wants to cause the world to agree with their wickedness. Right. They started right. off as a Christian nation, but now it's being revealed who they really are. Right. They are, they agree with, poly, uh, what, what's it called? Um, polygamy. Po yeah, polygamy, but they agree with when the man, the older man loves the uh, the younger boy. Pedophilia. Pedophilia, gosh, right. They agree with pedophilia, right. feminism, LGBTQ, all of that. That's don't what they agree with. And guess what? They want you to agree with that thing, too. Right. And if you don't, what are they going to do? They're going to cut you off. Right. Everybody who don't agree, read on. And that no man might buy or sell. And that no man may do what? Buy or sell. Hey, wow. give, give me the next one. Uh, should be an article in Nigeria. Mm. Okay. Uh, pull it up for me, IT. Is it, a, it is it the video first or is the article? Is the video? Okay, go to the timestamp. Queues outside petrol stations and outside banks. Residents of Lagos wait for hours to get cash or fuel, but neither are guaranteed. Damn. Ahead of the elections, Nigeria's economy is facing two major crises. The first, a cash shortage sparked by the replacement of paper notes with newly redesigned ones as the nation hopes to curb money laundering. In spite of a January 31st deadline, banks don't have enough new currency to swap for the old notes which residents are handing in. A crisis which has left people cashless and has forced businesses to close. And has forced business to close. That's where we're stopping? Okay, understand this. Don't forget about the CBDC, mm -hmm. the central bank digital currency right, right. that they want, that, that they're pushing for here in America. They're pushing for it over there too. 
That's what they want to do so they can control the finances. Right. All right, off of a digital currency. If it's digital, meaning what? You could give money at a drop of a dime, and you can also do what? You can cut Take off the Damn. money at a drop of a dime. Right. Give me Revelation 6. Watch this. Give me Revelation chapter 6 and start at um start at verse 5. Watch this, y'all. The book of Revelation, chapter 6 and verse 5. Uh-huh. And when he had opened the third seal, mm -hmm. I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. Uh huh. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. All right, had a pair of balances in his hand. What is the, the black horse talking about? The dark nations, All Africa. Right. It says, has a pair of balances in his hands. Those, pens, uh, those balances is going into the monetary system, the IMF, International Monetary mm -hmm. Fund. Wow. All right, they're the ones that's going to control this in the Federal Reserve right. for the CBDC. Right. Read verse right six with that. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, uh -huh. a measure of wheat for a penny. Go ahead. And three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. All right. Remember, they're the ones who set the, the currency. That's why when it comes to the third world countries, their money is not compared to anything. Um, not compared to anything when it comes to the United States of America. Right. Right. They're the ones who set all of that. But now, what are they trying to do? What is prophesied has to come to pass. The beast is going to control everything. The beast is going to control the currency completely to the point mm. where if you're not in agreement with the beast, they're going to cut off your health care. They're going to cut off your finances mm. as well. As damn. long as you're in opposition, it ain't no damn microchip. Right. All right? So right. I understand that. <laughs> hey, go back to uh, Revelation yeah, chapter 13. Right All right? Revelation chapter 13 and give me verse... Uh, 17, watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 17. Come on. And that no man might buy or sell. And that no man might do what? Buy or sell. Come on. Save he that had the mark. Right. Unless you agree with what America pushing. Go ahead. Or the name of the beast. Or the number of his name. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. The name of the beast. This is the United States of America. The number right, of right. his name is destruction. Right, That's right. Death in hell. That's what it's talking about wow. right there. Damn, Isaiah 28, 15. Nope. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 15. His name is destruction, right. war, death, hell. That's, who it's, that's what it's talking right. about. Isaiah 28, 15. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, and verse 15. Come on. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death. You have made a covenant with who? Death. Go ahead. And with hell are we at agreement. Uh-huh. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through. Think about the overflowing scourge. What that's talking about? That's talking about 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 70. Right. When Pretty they cool. turn against the people of God. Right. That's the overflow of scourge. Meaning what? You're going to have some Israelites that make an agreement with the beast. Right. You know? Because what? Wait, they want to get, they want to eat. Right. They want wait, the finances. Wait, wait. They want the health care. Mm -hmm. So they think when that overflow of scourge come, they're going to be good. Right. Read it again from the top. Because you have said, we have made a covenant with death. And with hell are we at agreement? With hell you at agreement, go ahead. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, uh -huh. it shall not come unto us. You see that? That's what they think. But when you read down in the, in the chapter, it's no, no, no. After, in 2nd uh, 1670, after they're done with the insurrection, Against the people of the Lord, guess what? They coming for your ass. Right. Uh, coming for your son. Right, right, They're right. coming for Bring you too. Right. Understand. <laughs> Understand that. Drop that real quick. Drop that. Let me get back on topic. Let me get back on track. Give me Revelation 17. I want you to read a little bit faster. Give me verse 4 again. All right. So just don't forget the number of his name is destruction. It's death. That's it's hell. Right? That's what his name is. That's read. Right. The book of Revelation, chapter 17 and verse 4. Come on. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. Uh-huh. And decked with gold and precious. Yeah, put up the scriptures, brother. Keep the scriptures up. Read it again. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. And decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Come on. Having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Go ahead. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, mm -hmm. the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Come on. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. With the blood of the saints. With the blood of the saints. That's going into the death right, right. there. That's who this beast is. Right. Who are the saints? The Israelites are the saints. That's right. The United States of America is going to be, is drunken with the blood of the saints. Right. Okay. And understand what this is going into? That great insurrection against those right. who fear the Lord. Some of us are going to lose, right. lose our lives for this gospel. That's right. right. It's prophetic as it is written. These things are going to happen. 
All right, so we got to prepare how to overcome this beast. And guess what? You can still overcome even if your life is taken. Right. How? When, your fa when favor is shown unto you when you are called in that first resurrection. Right. When you get to reign for a thousand years with the Most High in Christ. Yes. Read on. And with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. Come on. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman mm -hmm. and of the beast that carrieth her. Which have the seven heads and ten horns. Jump down to verse 8. Watch this. The beast that thou sawest was, and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. Go ahead. And go into perdition. And go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life mm -hmm. from the foundation of the world. When they behold the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. I want to jump to verse 10. This is the point I want to harp on. Watch this. Verse 10. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen. Right. It says there are seven kings. And it says, five have fallen. All of these are that same beast. It's that uh, Edomite nation, or Esau. Right. Okay? Right. Now it says, and there are seven kings, five are fallen. Pull up uh, the, the visuals for me. We're going to go over the five that are fallen. That's what it's talking about right here in verse yeah. 10. All right? So this is Greece right here. Greece. Next one. That's what, France? Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. You got Spain. Right. Next. Russia, come on, and was it Germany? Germany? And Germany right there. Right. So read the verse again. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen. Uh-huh. And one is. It says, and one is. Think about who was ruling when John wrote this. Who was ruling? Rome. Rome, Rome was Rome. ruling. Pull up the image. Pull up the image for Rome right there. All right, read on. And the other is not yet come. Right, and the other is yet not come. During this time, who didn't come yet? Great Britain. Right. Pull up the image for Great Britain. They didn't come yet. Bring read. Out. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. Read on. And the beast that was, and is not, even he is the eighth. Right, it says, and the beast that was, and is not, even he is the eighth. Who's the eighth? Pull up the next image. The United oh, yeah. States of right. America. Yeah, that's right. All right, this is the beast. This is the harlot right, right here. Right. Uh, finish that. And is of the seventh. And is of the, and is of the seventh. Because remember, the United States of America came from who? Great Britain. Right. Go ahead. Right. And goeth into perdition. And goeth into what? Perdition. What is perdition? Y'all got the uh, definition up for me? Pull up perdition. Bring it out. So Bring that people it out. can understand right. who this man is. Bring it out. Right. He goeth into perdition. Pull that up, Miriam Webster. Perdition. Give us a definition. Pull it up. The definition of perdition. Eternal damnation. What is it? Eternal damnation. That sounds like destruction yes. to me. Right. That's, That's right. right. Y'all understand? So the key, brothers and sisters, is not to get caught up in the beast judgment. Right. That's the key. The Give me Psalms 137 and, and 7. Because y'all got to understand. Y'all have to understand. The mark of the beast was prophesied back, way back when. Right. Message. Way back when. Psalms 137 and 7. Watch this. The book of Psalms chapter 137 and verse 7. Go ahead. Remember, O Lord, mm -hmm. the children of Edom and the day of Jerusalem who said, mm -hmm. raise it, raise it. Even to the foundation thereof. Because remember, remember when the Babylonians overtook us, they was trying to destroy us back then. Right. All right, nothing's changed. Go ahead. Oh, daughter of Babylon. Come on. Who ought to be destroyed. Who ought to be what? Destroyed. To be what? Destroyed. That's his name, destruction. What? That's right. his name That's right there. Right. All the way back in the book of Psalms. All right, give me Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 37. I'm going to show you something real quick. All right. We almost done. We almost done. But. We got to make sure we understand who, who the mark of the beast is and what it is first and foremost right. so we can prepare ourselves to overcome. That's, that's okay? right. Okay? Give me that. Nehemiah 9 and 37. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 9 and verse 37. Come on. And it give them much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us. The kings that God has set over us today in, this, in the latter times. Mm -hmm. Give me the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 11, verse 39. These are the kings that the most I set over us in these latter times. Watch this, y'all. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 11 and verse 39. Go ahead. Are not thou it that remainest of the four beasts, whom I made to reign in my world? To, made to reign. God allowed Esau to reign. Right. Which beast is this talking about? It's talking about the United States of America. That's, that's right. And how do we know? Read. That the end of their time. That the what? End of their time. That the what? End of their time. This is the end of our times, right? Uh, here. right. Read. Might come through them. Might come through who? Them. And they're going to bring the end. Mm, they're going to be the ones right. to bring the end. Read verse 40. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts.
that were passed. Right. Overcame all the beasts that were passed, like we read in Revelation 17. Go ahead. And had power and, over the world. And had power over the world. Who's the, who's the uh, superpower on the earth today? Bring it out. The United, United States, States oh. of America. Yeah, that's right. Without a shadow of a doubt. Go ahead. With great fearfulness. With, with great fearfulness. Go ahead. And over the whole compass of the earth. Mm -hmm. With much wicked oppression. With what? Much wicked oppression. With much wicked oppression. If it ain't the white man, I don't know who it is. Bring it out. So understand what this is talking about. According to the scriptures, give me Deuteronomy 28, 48. We're almost done. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, and I want verse 48. Y'all going to understand this thing tonight. Right. That's right. All right, read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Come on. Therefore. Shalt thou serve thine enemies? Shalt thou what? Serve thine enemies. If we broke God's commandments, and did we? Yes, we did. Right. God said that we would serve our enemies. Go right. ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which who? The Lord. Remember, we just read in 2nd Ezra 11, he said, he made them to reign. That's, that's right. right. God yep. sent this beast against us. Read it right. again. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Read. In hunger. In hunger. And in thirst. Meaning what? If you don't agree with the beast, you can't eat. Right. You can't That's drink. Right. Bring it out. Read. And in nakedness. You won't have clothes, shelter. Go ahead. And in one of all things. And in one of what? All things. All things. But just showing you, this mark of the beast has been in effect. Bring it out. It ain't no micro trip. I'm going to show you that it's been in effect. Pull up these pictures right here. Bring it out. I'm going to show you that the mark of the beast has been in effect. Did we have wow. power to... To get our own clothes at this time? Uh, no, because we were in slavery. Right. Showing you, this is the power of the beast back in this time. Right. Uh, read. I'm and sorry. He, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Keep going with the uh, with the pictures. Go ahead. So understand. Wow. Understand what the scriptures is talking about. Uh, from there, give me Isaiah the 10th chapter. I want you to start at verse 1. We're going to read to verse 3. Okay. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1, and I want you to read down to verse 3. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. Go ahead. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. It says destruction is coming to them who decree unrighteous decrees. To cut off our health care is an unrighteous decree. Yes. That's right. And what does woe mean? Right. It means destruction. Yes. Right. Right. Showing you this is that man. Right. This is the beast. Right. Read it again. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Come on. And that right gri grievousness which they have prescribed. Grievousness, which they prescribe, that they come up with, Bring and that's up. secret meetings. That's Go ahead. Right. To, turn, to turn aside the needy from judgment. You see that? Who is the needy? The Israelites. That's you right. so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. This is what they do. They conspire against us. Go ahead. And to take away the right from the poor of my people. Uh-huh. That widows may be their prey. You see that? Widows that might be their prey. They don't regard the old, the young, the female. They don't regard nobody. Bring it up. Go ahead. Uh, no. And that they may rob the fatherless. And that they may rob the fatherless. Read this, verse 3. And what will ye do in the day of visitation? Come on. And in the desolation which shall come from far. Uh-huh. To whom will ye flee for help? Read. And where will ye leave your glory? Where are we going to get our help from? How are we going to overcome this beast? Give me Revelations chapter 12 and verse 11. Nope. Right, how are we going to overcome the beast you in these last today. days? Watch this, y'all. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. The book of Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11. Go ahead. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. You see That's that? Right. We overcame right. this beast by the blood of the lamb. That's, That's right. right. Nope. Christ is that the only way, bro. Right. That is the only way. For you Old Testament Israelites, I feel bad for you. Bring it out. Because according to the scriptures, this is the only way we're going to overcome the beast. That's That's right. Read it again. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Come on. And by the word of their testimony. And by the word of their testimony. We got to keep God's commandments in That's these last right. days. Out, Give me Matthew 10 and 27. We can't fear man. Did what the Bible says, we can't fear man. Sisters. We're coming right back to this. Read that real quick. Matthew 10, 27. The book of Matthew. 10, 28. Excuse me. Chapter 10 and verse 28. Actually, start at 27. Watch this. Verse 27. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. Right. We got to prophesy against the United That's States right. of America. Right. Right. What we learned from our, right. our bishops, the Bishop Nathaniel, what he's bestowed upon us, guess what? We have to teach it, and we got to cry aloud That's and right. prophesy against 
eat them. That's right. Free. And what you hear in the ear. And what you hear, go ahead. That preach ye upon the housetop. Come on. And fear not them. And do what? And fear not them. Come on. Which kill the body. Which kill the body, go ahead. But are not able to kill the soul. That's how That's we're right. going to overcome the That's beast. Right. That's we right. can't have no fear. We got to do God's will. Thus saith the Lord. Go back to Come Revelation 12, 11. The book of Come Revelation. On. Chapter 12 and verse 11. Uh-huh. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And we are able to overcome this beast by the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Go ahead. Right. And by the word of their testimony. Uh-huh. And they love not their lives unto the devil. There it is. There it is. We cannot love this present world more than the Most High God. Yes. All right, right. Revelation 18, 4. All right, real quick, we're almost done. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Watch this, y'all. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse 4. Come on. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, uh -huh. that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And that you receive not of a place. We got to come out of the ways of Babylon, the beast, right. so we don't get destroyed along with That's the beast. Right. That's right. Uh, last one, uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 45. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 45. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 51 and verse 45. Go ahead. My people, go ye out of the midst of her. Understand, everybody's not the people of God. That's right. He's speaking uh, to no. one people, and that's you blacks, Hispanics, and uh, Native Americans. Right. Read it again. That's right. My people. Come on. Go ye out of the midst of her. Go ye out of the midst of that great whore, of that beast. Go ahead. And deliver ye every man his soul. And deliver ye every man his soul. Come on. From the fierce anger of the Lord. Come on. And let your heart faint. And ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. So understand this. The rumor that's uh, heard in the land is that America's going to be destroyed by nuclear fire. Yeah. So we right. got to make sure that we deliver ourselves from the beast. That's right. Giving all praise to the Most High in Christ. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!